Rupert Brooke mistook a South Seas vacation for romantic elation. Robert Lowell despairs of his soul, his shifting glimmers of consciousness just end in disgust. John Barth is a pain in the arse. You write like that when you're courting tenure. Walker Percy, grant us mercy. Emotion just wilts on the bow and rots while you arrange your thoughts. Tennessee Williams and Malcolm Lowry, each in his own ways a trifle flowery, preoccupied with being aesthetic, like modern Greek poets, too poetic. Each is sine qua non is self-pity, Tennessee because he wasn't pretty, Malcolm because his cock was pathetic. But Tennessee does break through into health. Lowry's labyrinth recoils on itself. Lenny Bruce had juice, but his sanctimonious tone of rebuke made both of us puke. Paul Theroux squeezed through, but knocking around in the world too long made the boy sullen, bad-tempered, and wrong. Oh, the garden is all full of weeds, just weeds. There's nobody left now to read.